going on? Uh, today I was actually uh, commenting back and forth with somebody about uh, stick shift. And the subject came up about the clutch and how I guess it's kind of hard for this person to, like, master it, you know, completely. to For it to feel, like, super easy and really comfortable and all that. And uh, it got me thinking that when I put out the other video videos about practicing the clutch, I told you guys what to practice to get better at it, but I didn't really tell you, like, my technique for it. So... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now, and uh, it may not be for everyone, it may not be for anyone, but it's how I do it. Uh, let's see, I don't know. Again, I'm I'm by myself, so I don't know if I can really get a good angle on this, but uh, I usually like to use blah, like about this part of my foot. Some people push all the way in the tip, but I kind of like around this area. I don't know why. I just do, but um, and if you watch me drive, sometimes you'll see like when I'm at a stoplight, I'll have the brake pressed, and I'll before I clutch in, I'll kind of like find the sweet spot before I push it in. Anyways, I like to put it around there, so it's like the it's like the meat of the foot right below the toes, and uh, you know press in, so you gotta find that spot. Press in, and then here's where I'm different from a lot of people. I like to anchor my foot. And then normally when I let the clutch out, I let it slide. See, my foot's still anchored. I let it slide to the grab point, and once it's pretty much there, then I raise my foot up. In, slide, up. So, it's kind of like a wave motion, really. Press in, let it slide up. So, when I'm going fast, it's kind of like that, which is weird, but... It's basically called slipping the clutch. Uh, I think a lot of people use it when they do launch control, but it's like the technique I developed when I was learning to drive the car, to have a precise way to control how much I let the clutch out. Uh, keeping in mind that my clutch, it's what I'd like to describe as smooth. The motion is smooth. Some clutches, I don't know why, but when you when you go to let them out, some of them feel almost like there's a spring in it, like it'll pop out halfway and then it'll be smooth on the way out. Mine, it's smooth going in, smooth going out. It's the same, the same feel, you know, the same resistance. But some people, I don't know why, because I've driven a car like that before. It like pops out really fast and then it's gradual. So, you know, even more reason why I like to anchor my heel so that I can control how much it slides. So if you can really see it, I'm like letting it slide off my foot and then raising. And if you look, you can see I freaking, this is a, like a weather mat rubber. I already put a hole in it. <laughs> I actually need to get another one, but, and the hole doesn't really bug me or anything. But, uh, yeah, you know, some people, they'll keep their heel off the ground and they'll push in and push out. I don't know, to me, I don't feel like I have total control. It's okay, but I have to, like, really watch myself when I'm driving. But when I anchor it, it's just so much easier. So it's up to you if you want. Give it a try. If not, just keep practicing on controlling it, and your leg will get stronger. Um, and one more point. Uh, actually I actually never mentioned this, I should have mentioned this probably in the first video on like getting started, getting set up. The distance that your seat is, and how high it is, and where your steering wheel is, it's all pretty important. Um, for me, because this is a telescopic steering wheel, I like to have the steering wheel raised all the way up. So this is pretty much like what I'm seeing at all times, right? You know, some people, they, they need to be, it needs to be lower so they can see more, whatever, but, you know, it's up here. I have a decent amount of space between my legs and the steering wheel. When I turn, you know, my hand doesn't get in the way of my leg. Um, originally, I started off with the seat, like, a notch lower, because there's, uh, there's a lever here. You can keep pumping it, and the, the seat will go up or down. 
and uh, this was a little lower at first and when I was learning not only was it lower but the seat was really far forward I mean I was like way up but the main point is when you're trying to find that spot like to start at say you know you're a complete beginner and you do not know rule of thumb that I was taught is you have to find the spot based off your clutch so wherever you're situated at press your clutch in all the way and and judge from there if you know your leg is good you know can you reach it easily are you really stretching your leg or is it really is it too close you know like you push it in and you're already clutched in and, and there's not enough room so you have to judge based off how easy or hard it is where the distance is for your seat so you know you have to be able to press it in easily all the way let it out have enough space and just feel somewhat comfortable you, know, you have to feel in control you don't have to be all the way forward but you can't be all the way back either and then from there you can adjust your height you can get used to your your other two pedals with your other foot because actually this the clutch is a lot further away than these two pedals are so my foot this foot's a lot more forward and then believe it or not I actually anchor this heel too I usually anchor this heel a little bit to the right of the brake pedal underneath and then from there you know I press it and my foot's a little to the left like angled a little to the left and then with my gas it's angled a little to the right so that is kind of weird but I usually keep it anchored I'm not raising it up So I don't know if that would help people either, but it's just my habit, you know. So my feet are pretty much anchored most of the time. And then like on my gas foot, I just move it back and forth. So like the right part of my foot is pressing on the gas. The kind of center to left foot, the meat of it is pressing brake. And then the center top part of the foot pressing in on the clutch. And then... Like I was saying, I started out really far forward and lower, and it accidentally happened, but somebody raised my seat up, and I sat in it, and I actually I liked it. That's why I started driving that way, and then acclimated to it. Now I'm used to it. And then as far as the distance, I just worked on it. You know, once I got really comfortable, and I knew what I was doing with the clutch and all that, and how to drive the car, I slowly started moving the seat further back. And got used to stretching my leg out further but you know like I could probably take the seat back a notch or two but any further and it'd be too far back in my opinion you know you don't want to be one of those people that's really scrunched up forward you know it doesn't look cool but you do have to put function over you know over looks so just keep that in mind when trying to figure out your distance and your height and your steering wheel and then yeah maybe that will help you with the clutch I'll just anchor your heel let it slip out once it's at the grab point you can raise your foot up you can engage the gear and rest your foot or you can just keep clutching and shifting alright thanks for watching